Welcome to Operation Pixel. Welcome we're, to Operation Pixel. We're gonna play Glover. <laughs> I don't remember much about this one. Yeah, me neither. It's weird though, because like... I know we've definitely played this one before. Yeah, Not on I the show, was, obviously. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, I remember you showed this one to me when I was a kid. When we were kids. And, um... I thought it seemed cool, so I remember I got a copy, and I never got very far in it. Uh... You can probably take normal. Oh, that's all. The bonus levels. Oh, okay. Well, that seems kind of silly, but whatever. Well, I think it's like a penalty, right? Like, um... Some of those old games like Golden Axe and stuff like that. You could beat the game on the easy difficulty and be like, Now try playing it on a harder one! He's like, yeah. God dang it. I think it's Wizard should get his own game. <laughs> he is a very cartoony... Oh, dude, can you imagine if he was in Smash Bros? Just the wizard? Just for no reason? <laughs> just this wizard from Glover? I can totally see, like, the gloves being a, uh... I got an assist trophy. Yeah. Like, smacks a ball around. Sure. Glover actually would be a really interesting character in Smash Bros. Yeah. Can you just imagine him just rolling around with the little ball thing and... Then having moves where he just, like, throws it around and stuff. And tur so, turns you into... So, really quick, I think the basic story of this is the wizard screwed up. And, um... It created this evil, evil glove. But his evil other glove, glove... His other glove is still a normal magical glove. Uh, who's Glover. And so Glover managed to save all the magic crystals that are, like, holding the world together or something like that by turning them into bouncy balls. So I think the goal of the game, essentially, is to go collect all the crystals. Yeah, pretty so much. So that this place isn't screwed. See, the first thing I think I do is, um... I bring it back to the hole. Sure. The crystal cavern, yeah. as it were. Um... See, I don't know, like, for, for some reason this game was memorable to me just because it was kind of, like, interesting and unique. Like, the N64 era started coming out with a whole bunch of these kind of platformers, right? Like, um, Donkey Kong 64, and there was, Mario. uh... Yeah, Mario 64, and, um... There were several on the PlayStation as well. I'm trying to remember. Spyro-ish. Yeah, because we had this conversation before. I, I was thinking of... You said Crash Bandicoot, and I was thinking of Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. Um, which, speaking of which, uh... <clears throat> Conker's Bad Fur Day is also sort of a platformer very much like this. Yeah. In some degree. This one's a little bit more, like, puzzle-focused and level-focused, because here you have your kind of, like, hub world. But, um... You know, it's kind of interesting. Okay. So I gotta find the crystal. I mean, the ball. Yep. There nice. it is. Now how are you gonna get that ball back to the crystal cavern? Oh, I have to play the game. <gasps> no. <laughs> I think there's something back here. An extra life. Yeah. Or maybe it's points. Yeah, I think it's, it's an extra it's life. life. It's life. Okay. I just noticed your points went up to 500 when you collected it. I actually didn't okay. remember this game had points. That's pretty much pointless, actually. <laughs> it's it's. It unlocks the uh, bonus levels, I believe. It feels silly to say that points are pointless. And there's a walking shark person who just pokes you with his nose. Let's see if I remember how to bounce. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> but that's really the problem with this one, is it's, like, very physics-based in a way. So you kind of got to, like, get the hang of, like, how you're going to, like, move around with a ball that's... Like, see, this this is the weird thing, right? Like, I complained about this in Atlantis, because it doesn't make sense for characters to be all floaty and slidey. Yeah. But in this game, it actually makes a lot of sense, because you're rolling a ball. You don't just suddenly not have momentum when you're rolling a ball. Yeah. So. Okay, see if I remember. I can change it. Yeah. There you go. Now you got a bowling ball. Can't actually remember what all these things were good for. I know, um, there's a few modes on the, on the, the ball. Yeah. One of them's magnetic. Oh, okay. Um, this is just heavy to stun guys. Uh-huh. That's the magnetic one. Uh-huh. And the crystal. And, you don't, the and then the bouncy ball. You don't want it to be the crystal, though. No. I don't think there's any time you'd ever want to turn it into the crystal unless you're trying to turn it into... I don't think I have. Get credit. 
No, you don't even have to. It does it automatically. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Ness never turn it into the crystal because then it breaks on impact on literally everything. You try and balance it like this and you, you throw it against the ground and break it. Yeah. It's the other thing that's kind of interesting uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. If I remember right, the, the ball has... It pops. Uh-huh. If it gets three bandages, it blows up. And then you're like... Eh. Yeah, something like that. Because you're here to save the ball. Essentially, the ball is more important than your character is in this game. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, you don't want Glover to get hit, but... It's, this is inverted, doing it like this, because he's running backwards. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's kind of interesting how, like, each each form has, like, its own kind of, like, properties. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Eh. And you pretty much need to, like... Yay! Jump. Or you need, you need the bouncy ball to do jumping. You gotta take the ball everywhere. Uh-huh. I'm sort of interested to see some of the later levels in this game, because, like... It just kind of seems like this game really doesn't, like, get a lot of attention, right? And I know when I played it, I didn't get all that far, because... Damn it. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was impatient or just had other things I wanted to do. Um... And having to walk backwards seems kind of inconvenient. <laughs> well, I always like to try and get all the, uh... The giblets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think there's... Is, is there something cool about getting all the giblets? Well, I think that's how you unlock the, uh... The, the bonuses stuff. Nope, 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 nope. Up there. Yeah, there you go. I don't think you're gonna have all the giblets. Uh, you know what, I bet... I bet I had to kill those fish. Oh, yeah, maybe. There were three fish. That makes sense. No, stop grabbing it. Stop <laughs> grabbing balls. There we go. Nope. Well, I say screw it. Well, I like the giblets. Well, that's fine, but at this point it'd be a lot of backtracking just so you can murder some people. And as much as I like murder, it's kind of a waste of time. It was right there. <laughs> like, less than a second away. Well, I turn around and go down the hill. There they are. Wouldn't the shark probably have one of them? No. You no? can't kill the shark. Oh, okay. There were three little piranhas that were between platforms. <clears throat> It's fine, you got plenty of points. Okay, let's open that. Yeah. This game actually got, like, pretty intensive with the puzzles at some point. I'm really curious to see how far I got in this, like, how much of it I actually recognize. One other thing I remember about this game, like, my most recent experience with it. Yeah, there you go. Um, is the Game Grumps played it at one point. Oh, they did? Yeah, I'm not sure when it was. It was a long time ago now, I think. I think I saw it just, like, on the backlog they had. I think it was it was probably back when uh, it was Aaron and John. And oh, okay. How far did they get? Like, almost nowhere. And, like, the whole time they were bashing on the game, because they said it wasn't very good, or they didn't like it. And I was like, how does... What? Because I actually thought it was really interesting. Um, yeah, I had fun with this one. Yeah, so it just seems weird to, like see people, like, just, like, playing this game, and they're like, oh man, this game is crap, man. <laughs> like, nobody liked this game. It wasn't any good. Well, that's how Atlantis was, but we finished it. Yeah, that doesn't mean anybody likes it. <laughs> also, if you get the, the giblets with the ball, you get more points. Ah. I noticed you get uh, more points if you get them in rapid succession. Yeah, but if I, if I do it with just, just Glover, uh -huh. uh, it, it gives you 10 points. Huh. If I do it with the ball, it gives me 20. Neat. And then the more I get, whoa, succession... Mm -hmm. I can get up to, like, 500. Sweet. Whoa. No, wait for you. There we go. Yeah. Murder. Now you gotta be really ca careful around here. Well, oh. yeah, this this place is kind of a death trap for your uh, magic orb. I'm gonna leave it there for a second. Can you get back up there without it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh okay. There. Remember there was, there was a hippo somewhere around here? Uh-huh. She screams at you, and hearts flow around her head, and she comes at you waving her purse. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Yeah, they are. Oh, wow, man, you know all the secrets. Well, I played this a little bit. Can you imagine what would happen if, like, Glover got a sequel right now? Or, like, an HD remake? That'd be kind of cool. It would actually be pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see, like, what they could do with it. Yeah. With, like, you know, 
modern modern game design philosophy theories principles and just like you know just better systems in general hey some some worse games have gotten reboots oh yeah okay wait this is where i wazam new oh there you go i don't think i can do that with nice there we go Man, look at all those giblets. How are you going to get all those giblets? Also, are they called giblets, or are we just calling them giblets because we don't know what to call them? I'm just calling them giblets. Watch out, I think float, bounce up. Whee! <laughs> wonder if that's ever useful for a puzzle. I, I know they have a name, but uh, I don't I don't remember what they are. But I just, I just call them giblets. Well, that's fine. As long as we're consistent in our, uh, in our speaking, it's all fine. Like... I mean, someone had to be, like, the first one to see, like, a zebra and be like, This is a zebra! And everyone's like, Oh, he said it was a zebra, so it's a zebra. Whoa. So if we say it's giblets, then it's giblets. Ah! Well, at least you got that checkpoint. And an extra life. Yeah. I yeah, I, like... think, I think the giblets give you extra lives, too. Yeah, they might. Um, this is actually a big problem, though, with, like... A... I, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a big problem, I guess, but, um... I know just, like... This is probably one of the reasons why I stopped playing this game is a lot of these levels are very much like they're death traps for your ball. Well, that's the whole point. Yeah, I know. It's that's, that's what brings the challenge. But um I mean, come on, it's a death trap. If I remember right, this makes me big. Whoa. Yeah, now I'm powerful. <laughs> and I can push a wall. Oh god. There we go. I'm actually really interested to see these last levels now, because, like, like I said, like, I haven't actually seen very far into this game, but, uh, I'm very curious now to see if, like, how, how creative they get with the <laughs> puzzles. So at this point, oh, they're mostly could... still introducing weird things. Yeah, I guess I could have yeah, I guess. done that, but I guess the people didn't know. So how are you going to get up there? Well, I remember there was a way. And are you still going to be able to get all the giblets? Let's see if I can... Jump high enough with this thing. Stop inversion. It sucks. <laughs> that does seem pretty so. inconvenient. You could double jump though, right? Yeah, but I don't think I can. Well, maybe I can. Seems pretty close. Pretty sure there was a button to make you just jump up there, but I forgot what it was. Huh. Because he just grabs the ball. Ah, little roof got in the way. Ah. Uh, oh well. Yeah, it's just giblets. Whatever. Okay. Well, we're gonna pick this up again next time on Operation Pixel. Let him do the gold dance. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see everybody next time.